Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Learn from Children Bob. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In today's class, we are continuing with Ontogen Cahier d'Exercice 2, which is the workbook for CBSC Class 10, written by Mahita Danjit and published by a New Society House India Private Limited. And uh, today we are continuing with this chapter. As of now, we have done three videos on the lesson one content and hence this video is part four for lesson one from the workbook of CBSC class 10th uh, and the chapter is what? Retuvonozami. To be exact, we have done, we have completed the section A part and in section B, we have completed till question number six. So we are to start from question number 7 onwards. So yeah, let's proceed. We have question number 7. So in question number 7, it shows you that the verb is convenient and complete the phrase suivante au présent. So, uh, there's a pool of verbs that we have. 10 verbs to be exact. And we need to choose that which of the following sentences will be having which verb. And then we need to conjugate that verb accordingly by looking at the subject, pronoun or the subject. Right. So, we have conduit to drive, so we have to survive, no need to uh, move, to die, salty to go out, comprehend to understand, envoy uh, to send, so we have to follow, traduit uh, to translate, and the uh, savoir to receive, so on to sleep. Fine. To fall asleep. Anyways, uh, okay, so I'm just tightly discussing the answers. Okay, so first one, nous lui dash de l'argent. On va to send, right? So we send him some money. Nous envoyons. I'm writing the subject pronoun as well in case there's any doubt. You can just uh, refer to it. Number two, we have pourquoi vous ne dash pas mon exemple? Why don't you follow my example? Suive. Vous ne suive pas. Third one we have. Nos cousins comprennent l'espagnol. My cousins understand espagnol, understand Spanish. Now you may think that there's traduit as well, so traduit can also come. Right, but in such questions, you need to look for the most suitable verb. I mean, there are many more parts where two or more verbs are suitable. But then, uh, say verb B is suitable, verb A is more suitable in B for question number one. But, wait, let me just draw it. I mean, that would be easier. Say there are one and two, and two verbs A and B. So, two, correct answer is A, but B is also suitable. Right. But it might happen that for v one, only B is suitable, right? So B has to be for one and the A has to be for two. So this thing needs to be followed. That's why for the third one, we are going with the uh, verb comprendre and no cousin is a third person plural. So no cousin, I'm not writing the full word, uh, comprendre. Fourth one, cette plante meurt sans eau. This plant will die without water. Fifth, c'est un animal qui dash au plus basse température. This is animal which survives, survive. First person, singular. C'est un animal. Uh, sixth part, we have uh, il dash malgré le mauvais temps. Salty should be the verb used here. They go out despite of the bad weather. So, il salt. Seventh, le guide nous dash à travers les salles du palais. The guide drives us across the halls of the palace. So, conduit. Eight, il dash la lesson en anglais. They translate the lesson in English. Okay, so here it should be traduise. Nine, 
translating the lesson lesson in english right so could have we used the tadwise in a uh, sorry tadweer in a third part it wouldn't have made much sense right so here we are using tadweer and line we have uh, dash l lekado l uh, third person plural so did they receive the gift the swav tell right it's an inversion so like it's like this the swav tell and the 10th part we have la bebe sondo teto of course the baby will fall asleep pretty quick pretty early so sondo answer for question number 7 now we have question number 8 a pretty interesting question metal the phrase we want number 1 ala form interrogative number 2 ala form negative so what i have done is now in interrogative form we have uh, three forms intonation as kind inversion so what i have done is that uh, one i have done in intonation two i have done in esca and two i have done in inversion it's not mentioned that which form we need to but it's fine that we practice all three of them certainly i cannot write all three of them for all the cases on the board so i have taken one case per question okay so and of course negative we are having just one basic negation here so nothing to worry about much so question number 8 we have first part uh il v o is it as uni he lives in the usa so the thing is now what what we got to do uh first interrogative so first part i have done in intonation it's very easy okay you just write the statement as it is affirmative statement as it is and then put a question mark this is simply intonation what about negative il na verb pa o zetatsuni of course oh oh capital e etatsuni and full stop second nu volon retenir yun bon chambre we want to retain or get a good room so let's do with this ka need not to do anything as such special just put s k in front of the affirmative statement okay so in interrogative we have s k nu vulo retenir yun bon chambre right and negative it will be what negative will be nu okay then it has to be a question mark uh nu then na then verb then pa to be noted when in present tense we have two verbs first verb is the helping one and the next one is the main one uh we do the negation with the helping one with that is with the first verb right and the one in the infinitive form that comes after pa so nu na bulo pa retenir yun indefinite article will change to the the bon chambre okay number 3 we have les horloges avons da 10 minutes easy let's make it with us only s k but horloge begins with the uh, oh wait uh, it, there's an article so we not worry about much and could have been there no art, article then a q u apostrophe and horloge it would have been so s k is horloge oh the ball clocks le uh, horloge avons did i mess with the spelling no perfect uh les horloge avons de 10 minutes uh, uh, okay are they 10 minutes early 
question mark negative so this is interrogative and now we form the negative form uh, very easy les horloges n'avance pas de 10 minutes okay number 4 tu places la la clé sur la bureau now let's do an inversion so interrogative inversion the placement of subject and the verb interchanges right so at uh, tu plus plus tu plus tu la clé la clé sur la bureau plus tu la clé sur la bureau now that the pronunciation will be like clay like we don't really pronounce the last consonant so yeah plus tu la clé sur la bureau and uh, what about the negative form uh, to in case the, it's not clear i'll notify it in the description box don't worry it has to be either clap, but clap is unlikely because, like in O, oh, we are not pronouncing the F in the singular form. We simply say O. Oh. Right. So, I'm going with clear as of now. Otherwise, if there's any change in the pronunciation, I'll uh, notify that in the description box. Don't worry about it. Uh, plus tu la classe, classe sur le bureau. And uh, tu ne pla place pas la clé sur le bureau, the negative form. Tu ne place pas la clé sur la bureau. Pretty much sure that it's not visible in the recording. Let me also check that whether the recording is going on fine or not. Already the recording is of like what 10 11 minutes, I suppose. This video is going to be a long one since I have two more questions. Oh my god, 30 questions, 35 questions of a uh, passive compose. Yeah, we need to rush. I'm gonna write in this much space, then I'm going to drop the whole thing. You know, if you have was my previous video like it's better to just drop the whole thing off and then write the, the on the board on the fresh board right anyways uh question number five to the level r sees r okay a bit tricky phenomenal verb so in phenomenal verb when we are doing the inversion the reflexive pronoun comes first so the rather it becomes in capital the right then you have the verb and then the subject the left two. The left two are sees a. Uh. So this was your interrogative form and the negative two na puno de fleshy and the verb together two na the left pa uh, sees a. Uh. This is your negative form. Perfect. Now just give me 10 seconds. I mean, I'm literally counting 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take a quick screenshot and I'm erasing the whole thing because we need to do 35 questions of passe composé. So that's going to take a lot of time and a lot of space on the board as well. So yeah, let's just rub the entire thing up. I mean, I'm going to rub the uh, subheader as well. So yeah. I'll try to write the answers in two columns so that we can have all answers at once on the screen. So it becomes easier for you as well to note down. Okay. It's done. Let's draw a line in the middle and let's proceed with question number nine. Metal verb o passe composé, passe composé, pass tense. Nice. So, uh, in this question, uh, well, all the verbs are of avoir, auxiliary verb is avoir, 
the next question we have some verb with at the so let's see let's solve all of them first one we have la mer dash says on phone avec elle amene means to bring so the mother brought her children with her so first person singular formation of passive composition is what subject Plus auxiliary verb, either adverb or adverb in present tense conjugation, then the past participle. If it's negative, subject plus na plus uh, auxiliary verb plus pa, then the past participle, followed by the subject verb agreement in case applicable. Right. So first one, la mer a amene. Ces enfants avec elle. Second is finir. I am ending verb. How do we form the past participle? We just remove the R, right? Regular I am ending verb I am talking about. So, ils dash le travail. They finished their work. Ils ont fini. Third person plural. Third one. We have uh, on dash un bruit bizarre. We heard a bizarre or a strange voice. Noise. Entendre is the verb. So we heard. On a entendu. Now this subject pronoun is pretty interesting. O N, the impersonal pronoun. Now we translate it usually as we, but we are conjug conjugating the verb with it always in third person singular. Okay. So on a entendu. Because sometimes we translate it as uh, we, sometimes we also translate it as uh, one, like one heard. One does, like in general, in generic terms. Right. Anyways, uh, our autondu is fine. Now we have fifth part, uh, fourth part, which is conseiller to advise. Or, right. So, nous lui dash, dashete un appartement. So, we advised him to buy an apartment or we advised her. So, avant conseiller. I hope the spelling is clear. Yeah, it's clear. Fifth part. Après une attaque cardiaque, il dash connaissance. Okay. So, na pas prendre. We need to conjugate uh, the prendre verb il take again or retake or resume uh, in the past composite form with na and pa together. So, the answer will be what? Il, third person singular, il na pa. Rapri. So after the heart attack, uh, he didn't take connaissance's knowledge. I mean, okay, I'm a bit confused. Anyways, uh, what do we have next? Il dash yun tres her histoire d'amour. Okay. Vivre is the verb. Vivre's past participle is what? Vecu. Right. So, il no pa vecu. Na pa vivre. Oh, wait. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's not na pa vivre. It's simply vivre. So, il, ils on vecu. Ils on vecu. Yun tres rar histoire d'amour. Seventh, we have on dash. Très bien. Dash. La littérature française. Indicating that the auxiliary verb will come before très bien and the past principle will come after it. So, on a très bien connu. Connaître is the verb. So, on a then très bien connu. Okay. Eighth one we have. What do we have here? Uh, L dash. N'a pas mangé. Okay. We have one more negative. So, n'a pas mangé. Uh, the tart. L n'a pas Monje the tart. N apostrophe a pa monje. Okay. Ninth. Ils ont dash de cour a solbonne. Suivre. Okay. Wait, just give me one minute. Hmm. So, yeah, ninth one we have, ils ont suivi. 
third person plural ears on suivi tent this video is going to be very long <laughs> tent a grandir is the verb okay to grow so no dash as martin so no savon grandi okay Eleventh, we have L dash, dans jean et dans t-shirt. Okay, a servitude to dress is the verb. So L sa vetu. Okay. Hmm. Twelfth, at the is the verb il dash to fatigue pendant la journée il a été very easy. Next we have avoir avoir past participle is eu so it's not past avoir. Nous dash le temps pour la lecture en classe. Nous n'avons pas heure le temps pour la lecture en classe. Nous n'avons pas heure. Okay, le film nous dash beaucoup dash. Plaid is the verb which means to please. So the film pleased us a lot. Nous avons beaucoup, avons beaucoup plus. Okay, then we have 15th part. Aujourd'hui le journal dash avec quelques heures de retard. Paraître is the verb which means to seem. So, aujourd'hui, le journal, third person singular. I mean, here in this case, third object singular. <laughs> if so, there, there is something like that. Anyways, whatever. Uh, le journal. A paru. Sixteenth, we have. Uh, je dash, enfin dash, à obtenir mon bac, réussi, which means to succeed. So, I, uh, j'ai enfin réussi. J'ai enfin réussi. Seventeenth. Ils dash, beaucoup dash, à cette blague. So, le read is the verb which used to laugh. So, they laughed a lot. Ils ont beaucoup dit. Okay. Ils ont. Oh, oh, I'm writing just the answer. Ils ont beaucoup dit. Okay. Next we have. Did you get this done? All right. Eighteenth, we have no dash. Quatre ans en Argentine vivre. So nous avons vécu. Nineteenth, no dash to dash. Okay, magri this means to become thin. So no, uh, wait, what's the verb? Okay, Allen. Third person singular. Allen a to magri. So okay, a to magri. Twenty. 20 we have, a, okay, it's an inversion form. Savoir is the verb. Okay. So, fine. Art you dash. Okay. So, first we have the auxiliary verb, then the verb subject, then we have the past participle, then we respond to answer the question. So, art you few. Okay. Uh, 21, le chien mordre, mordre means to bite, so le chien dash ma soeur à la jambe, so my, uh, the dog bit my sister in the leg, so a mordu. Okay, 22, we have, uh, a-t-il beaucoup souffert, 
truthfully this the verb very easy which means to suffer so atil boku suffer and just writing the answers which are there in the which are to be added to the blanks okay 23rd mo pad dash no the maison pad the which means to paint so my father painted my house a pan third person singular 24 we have lahri queer which means to cook lahri dash do lotan sa uh, lahri a queer Twenty five. We have a tremblement de terre on end. A detruire. Detruire is the verb. The numerous habitations. So tremble in the land of India. Destroyed numerous habitations. A detruire. Twenty six. We have an attendant, which means to arrive or to achieve, to achieve or to reach. Okay. So l dash la somme de sa carrière. uh he the she reached the summit of her career so l r ata 27 se gaso baat the which means to beat se gaso on baat you avec la kamadad 28 we have na pa rakonet da okay so je ne pa rakonu ma cousine je नेपा रकोन्यू मा कुजीन ट्वेंटी एल अकॉम्प्लीट विच यू टू अकम्प्लिश सो एल डैश दे प्रोग्रे इट नो सो शी अकम्प्लिश द प्राइजिंग प्रोग्रेस सो एल आकॉम्प्लीट एंड लास्टली थर्टी एट वी हैव लाफेर मारी a hell dash la camembert the could be this the verb so she discovered the uh, camembert cheese so l a découvert i hope this line is visible in the recording now we have the last question for today's video which is question number 10 i wanted all the passive composed answers to be uh, visible on the board at once so yeah uh, it is pretty much visible so it's a good thing anyways so what were we discussing Meteo passe composé. Attention on accord si nécessaire. We have et tu as well here. That's nice. So uh, l dash so monton a l dash. Remettre in the first blank party in the second. Remettre the third person singular. So remettre the is with uh, avoir and party this with et the. So l a r m i and in the second blank l a party with an e because. A is the at the is the auxiliary verb. Number two, number two we have a uh, il dash de la chambre quand le vent dash le volé. Uh, descendre to descend first verb blank and arrache which means to extract or to snatch the second blank. So il son descendu, il son descendu with an s third person plural and uh, le vent singular third person. A adashi. Le bolé. Third one we have. Sont ils revenus de voyage? Oui, ils sont rentrés. Both are with that verb. Revenir and rentrer, right? And both will have an s at the end since the subject pronouns is ils. So one s will be added. Ils sont ils revenus. in the first blank and il son rentre in the second blank number 4 we have uh, uh, l okay the sondo and nuri the sondo with at the nuri which is to nourish with avgad so l a de sondu with the uh, e at the end l a de sondu and the dona cuisine a l and she fed her cat Uh, with some fish so l r nuri and the last part l'avion dash took off decoller l'avion decoller a les hôtesses d'air dash 
distribues the verb, distributed the beverages. So, l'avion a décollé. And both are the accent uh, aigu, accent aigu. And then we have with us there, on distribué. Both are with avoir. Okay. So, yeah, with this, we complete question number 10 in this video as well. So, yeah. Stay to Pudu Judy. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Learn Fish and Involve. And if you have any doubt or suggestion, you may write that in the comment section below. You may also like my Facebook page by the same name, Learn Fish and Involve. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Au revoir. Nublifaka. Long from Sir